Hi, so this is going to be a five blind memo example, just showing how I use my rooms and images and my sort of thought process. So today we're going to be using a kitchen and living room from a place I used to live. Uh, you can see a little map on the screen. So the scrambles in the description if you want to follow along, although we won't have the same buffers and letter schemes, so just bear that in mind. Alright, so first location is this fridge, and we're going to be memorizing corners. First letter pair is U, W, and my word for that is underwater. Then we have K, and we need a cycle break, so E, K, E is key, and then M, R, which is monorail for me. And that's everything done except for this twisted corner down here. And I memorize twists by taking the letter of the sticker that belongs on the U or D face, which in this case is T, and I make an image out of that letter and put it inside a sort of treasure chest. So going through the memo again, we have underwater key, monorail, T twist. And my image for T uh, is a cup of tea with the letter T written on the cup. And I only put the T there when it's the single letter T, because I also use a cup of tea for T-E, which has kind of worked out for me so far. So it's fine, I think. Right now we're starting with wings, and the first pair is T-N, which I use 10. And then E, need a cycle break, so O, which is a generally good piece for algs, so I just default to there when I cycle break. So E-O is Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, and then M-U is Mew from Pokemon, and then S-A is just S-A. So for this whole image, I'll see a tin, and then Eeyore like, pops his head out, and then sees Mew, who's writing an S-A. And then I move on to this uh, other section of the kitchen bench, and the next pair is DJ, which is just DJ, then RO, which is row, as in the action of rowing, and we have to cycle break again because we hit O just before, um, so I go K, and then G, it's keg, and then WL is wall, so what we have is a DJ rowing into a keg, which sprays onto a wall. So all I would say in my head is DJ Row Keg Wall, but those are the images I would imagine. So we have XK, and for pairs starting with X, I got this idea from the speed solving wiki a few years ago, and a lot of the pairs are just electrocuted something. So for XK I have electrocuted koala, but I just shortened it down to electric koala, and I just imagined some like electric stuff going on around it. So now we have another cycle break. So I'll go to I, and then V, which is IV, as in an IV drip. And then BQ, which is barbecue. And then back to I, and we're done. And my image for the single letter I is just an I. So the whole image for this section is an electric koala kind of hooking an IV to a barbecue, which has an eyeball on it. Moving on to midges, and we're still in the first room, and the first pair is OF, which is officer. So I imagine just a police officer. And then we have TX, and I like to do actions after people if I can, so text, it's pretty simple. Um, then MN, which is moon. So I have an officer texting a moon. And I split my midges up into two parts, so the first part's three pairs, and then the second part's just whatever's left. So now we're moving on to this uh, area next to the stove. And the next pair is QI. My word for that is the TV show that's literally called QI, um, with Stephen Fry. And what I imagine is a TV with just like the QI background on it. And then the next images are just happening within that. So the next pair is U.S., which I just think of the U.S. flag. So we just have Q.I. and then the U.S. flag sort of pops up 
or repairs. In a real solve, I would have memorized all of that in one go, and then at this point I would review all of that. And then I would just move on to centers uh, without coming back to the rest of it and execute them first. We're starting with X centers on this table. And when I memorize centers, I generally just go clockwise around each face. Um, except for when I know I can avoid a cycle break. All right, so our first pair is E, O, and that's Eeyore, which we had just before in wings, but that's okay. So I'd imagine Eeyore, and then F, U, that's fuel. Then we have GQ, so I imagine the magazine, uh, GQ, and then AV, which is Avicii, who unfortunately passed away recently, but we can still use him in our memo, and I'm sure he would have appreciated that. So we have ER Fuel GQ Avicii, which is just uh, ER pouring some fuel onto a GQ magazine with Avicii on the cover. And the next location is kind of just the other side of this table. Next we have I and then C. So that's ice, and then KR is kryptonite, and then we have XH, which for me is helicopter. Uh, I got that pair from someone else. I think the logic is that the H stands for helicopter, and the X kind of looks like the, the blades on top of it, and then WL, which is wall again. So that's nice. Um, and the whole image is, I see some ice, and then kryptonite kind of emerges from it. Then we see a helicopter, which crashes into a wall. And then I just go to this uh, area on the floor where I memorize the rest of X centers. Then we have PD, which is pad, like a sanitary pad. And then we have MT, which is Matt. Um, you, can think of, you can think of a person you know called Matt, but for this I'm just going to think of a welcome Matt. So there's just a pad on a mat. And then N is our last target. My image for N is just a character from Death Note. I just imagine a piece of paper with his face on it and a big N in the, in the font Death Note uses. So that's all of X centers, and at this point I would just quickly review those and then move on to plus centers. Okay, so for plus centers, uh, I do this short term so I don't review anything and I execute them first. And ideally you'd use full audio for this, but since it's like 18 to 20 letters usually, um, it's kind of a bit much for me to memorize with just audio. So I memorize the first four pairs using just a quick image, then I do the rest with audio. So for this image, I have UQ. For UQ, I use ultra quick, and IR is iron, and then VT is vet, and the last pair is EP, which my word for that is episode. And then when it's all one coherent image, you kind of have an ultra quick iron, like zooming into a vet's face, and then they look at this TV that has an episode of something on it. And then after that, I just go through the rest of plus centers using audio. So we have AJ, which is age, uh, DS, DIS, LM, LEM, XF. I kind of use Z sounds for X, but you can also use SH, like shh. So I use ZIF for XF, WN, WIN, and then HK is HIKE. So these are all one syllable, and a lot of them are also real words, which just makes it really easy to remember. So for all of plus centers, um, we'll just go through that again. Ultra quick iron vet episode, then we'd have age to slim, ZIF WIN HIKE. All right, so that covers that. Uh, I hope you learned something and see you later.